Hello everybody, welcome back to Puzzles and Dragons. Today we're playing the Zayrog Infinity Descended. I wasn't able to do a proper video the first time it came out and I've been waiting so patiently for this thing to come back because I really want two maxed out Zayrog Infinities. If you look here at the top of my screen, top left, there are those two Zayrog Infinities sitting right there. I almost did it in one week and I almost did uh, two max Zayrog Infinities, but if you look at their their active skill rising dark dark orb slightly more likely to appear for three turns this increases dark orb skyfall chance by 15 percent and for each card you have to max you have to skill you have to give them a skill up 10 times if that makes any sense for you guys but he starts at level one he maxes at level 11 and you have to farm for so many of these things and I've run this dungeon so many times and I'm going to give you kind of like a guide on how to play <laughs> Awoken Ra in this Zayrog Infinity Dungeon but that's that's one of them and check it out I always only one skill up away from maxing two of them the first time this thing came through and I'm hoping that in this next run that we'll get this next Zayrog Infinity. I, I would want two of these guys because I've been working on an Anubis team. If you look here, there's, this is a really cool looking Anubis team. We have two Yomi or two uh, Dark Izanami. They're max skilled, so these guys will give us a damage reduction of 35% for forever if we can use uh, skills in our dungeon, if we're not skill bound. And then these two Zayrogs will increase our Dark Skyfall chance by 15%, which is great for Awoken Anubis because Awoken Anubis, he needs a 9 or more combo for him to do any damage at all. So, with the increased Sky, he, he, well, his leader skill relies a lot on Skyfall chance. Uh, he, max his, he maxes his damage at 12 combos, he'll do a Hunter Multiplier at, at 12 combos, and with an increased Skyfall chance of Dark Orbs, I feel like that would make it easier for me to hit those 9, 10, 11, and 12 combos, but I still have to play around with it. I still need to improve on my gameplay. But for Zayrog Infinity Dungeon, we're going to choose a raw friend, and I'm going to show you what I do to farm this dungeon. I've chosen my friend, and this is the strongest, most consistent team I can make up. Usually I run with two Light Kali, but this, e or this Indra, his active skill is actually very helpful for this dungeon. We're going to get going right into this dungeon because there are 10 battles. For the first stage, I just bypass it right off the bat. I don't even want to mess with those dragon seeds. They're cute, but they are very dangerous. So I just use that active and just clear that right up. The next few stages are okay. So hopefully I can like speak and play at the same time. Uh, something like that. Because there are a lot to say about this dungeon. So, if you've noticed, we start at level 1 in this dungeon. It's it's weird how they made this dungeon, but you start at level 1 and for every level you beat, you keep going. And um, as you progress, then you'll start gaining experience and you'll level up as you go. This dungeon is re really interesting too because you are able to... Um, get or to get all the evolution materials needed for Zerog Infinity because he requires so much stuff to evolve. But let's see what we can do here. Um, I'm just gonna go this way here. And uh, we'll keep going. So far, so good. These guys can be kind of tricky because, well. They absorb your dark orbs. Good enough. <laughs> Maybe we should do uh, some... Some tracing here. I haven't done some tracing in a while. Let me pull up my... Tracer. Oh, here we go. Let's see what we can do from here. After those those shield bash guys, then we have uh, pirate dragons. You have a chance to spawn one of each element. I think the fire one is the most dangerous one to play with, but we're going to move from bottom to top here. So I'm going to grab this red. We'll do a hook, and then I'll put yellow at the bottom here. 
This move will put hearts at the bottom, and then we'll put lights at the bottom, and then I'm gonna work from bottom to top. Like always, this is a great dungeon to practice. <laughs> Raw. This is a great dungeon where I practice playing my Raw because I've run this dungeon so, so, so many times that, um, you know, it's, it's turned out to be, you know, a great training ground for me. There we go. Night combo. I'll take it. Yeah. <laughs> Zerog Infinity is so crazy. I feel like a lot of people, they run with a Bastet team, but... I am much more comfortable running with a raw team. So let's see. We have all the colors still, which is great. I think it's because we've been we've been doing so well getting rid of all the colors that we we don't need or just pretty much like clearing out the board. I'm going to grab this blue because there are four on this half of the board. There are four on this half of the board. So we pick up one of the blues and move it to the right-hand side of the screen. So what I'm going to do here it's gonna be weird, but I'm gonna go down here, we'll do a hook here, and we'll do a hook here. Boom. Doing that, uh, there are two lights sitting on this side, so I have to pick this guy up and move him this way so I can maybe do like a vertical match or something like that. But that's that's the initial move set there. Let's do that right now, yeah? There's a... Do we not have all all the colors? We're missing blue. Or not. Looks like we got it. <laughs> I'm crazy. Protection of the Pagoda. We'll keep going on this guy. Uh, we don't have light. So, let's just stall it out here. We're missing red. These dungeons... I think are okay. If I remember correctly, it's been it's been a little bit since I last did this dungeon. No greens. All right, let's use a dark Kali. Make sure we don't die. It's a really safe team here. This is the move I'm going to do here, guys. So we're going to grab this purple. We'll do a hook. And then we'll come down this way. That'll put green here and a lights here. Yeah. Lights here. I may grab the red instead. Nah, we'll grab purple. I was just wanting to put this purple in the place. Yeah! 11 combo, I'll take it! <laughs> nice, these next few stages are not too bad at all. When you fight the samurai dragons, you fight the pirate dragons, those guys aren't too bad. What's the next one? War dragons? Now we have Pengdras. Alright, let's keep this up then. Mmm, this way. Eight combo. <laughs> not too bad, not too bad. Okay, battle seven. This is where things get kind of tricky. By this by the time we get to this point, the raw the raws are all ready to go, right? So what I do in this one, I don't even mess with the super dragons. I let them I just eat through their defense and we just take them out right away, and this is the most important stage here. This is the stage before Zayrog Infinity. This is a uh, regular, regular Zayrog, and so what I have to do here is use Holy Thunder Dragon Indra. We'll pull up our defense, and we have to take this guy out in one turn. I don't have all the colors available to me, so I'm going to use the Sparkling Gods of Secrets Kali, and let's take this guy out. The reason why we use Indra now, this is the most important step, we use Indra now because in the next stage, Zayrog Infinity increases our cooldown on our actives by between 0 and 4 turns, I believe? Something like that. He increases the cool- well, no. He increases the cooldowns by like 3 turns. And we can't use our defensive actives, and he can one-shot us unless we use a defensive active. So let's... 
let's continue on this battle here. Um, I might grab this and go this way. Doing so, I think we'll put purple at the bottom, blue at the top, and then we'll have a set of yellows here and a set maybe of greens here. That leaves this whole area to do vertical matches. Pretty sweet. My leg is asleep. Ugh. All right, here we go. Do red, blue, purple, yellow, purple, why not? Hopefully this takes him out. Because this guy is a big pain in the butt. Yes! And we cleared it. So we have three turns to, of defense, which is good because a preemptive strike takes out one turn. And for this guy, it's actually one of the harder battles in the dungeon because you have to do a six combo and within two turns you have to kill or you have to take them below 50 percent so uh what i'll do is let's draw it out here hmm i want to put green on the bottom right hand side of the board my orb will sit out underneath these two darks right so i will pull these these three darks here and we'll have three darks three woods and then we'll work we'll work from there we don't have any lights which is a shame our team primarily is made of white cards is that a six combo at least yeah all right it's at least a six combo, which is good. He won't one-shot us, which is awesome. But the, this is another tricky part of the stage. He'll rebuff himself, and then he'll remove a second to match orbs. It makes it a lot harder to reach a six combo, right? So let's make a mistake on purpose. I'm going to... Um, let's see. I'm just going to heal up. And this is why Indra is so good, because we have one more turn left of defense. Let's say we make a mistake... We weren't able to do enough damage. We mitigated that. And then it, I think it gets a little bit easier from here. Because our raw is available. And this Zayrog form has a ton of defense. So we can eat through that defense. Nice, right? And then we can move on to the next stage. Which is an easier version of Zayrog in my opinion. But this is the Zayrog Infinity. He has... Uh, dark damage reduction, so... And he's dark element, so it's... I mean, Awoken Raw seems like a great counter to this dungeon. I'm gonna reveal the board. And... Let's activate... Should we activate a defense? Nah, let's keep going here. Let's see... This... This... Am I able to do some damage here? Yeah, A combo! Nice! I don't expect to take this guy out in one shot because he has a 75% damage reduction buff on him. And it looks like his first turn he would he binds our characters, so that's why Awoken Isis is so good for this one. We have all the codes on the board, looks like we do. So I'll do that, I'll clear up Indra. We have a defensive buff just in case we we don't kill this guy in one turn, but let's see what we can do on this dungeon. This move looks awesome. Boom. It's kind of like the same move as before, but we put lights here at the top and darks here at the bottom. Um, down here I can maybe put hearts and maybe woods here, and that leaves this whole area for me to match orbs. And hopefully we'll be able to take Zayrog Infinity down in one shot. Put this in here, this here. Two prong attack, set up for a skyfall of hearts. Eight combo, 25 multiplier, plus we use an active, so that's a hundred multiplier on Zayrog Infinity. And he's dead! Oh, we got a plus egg on that one. Clear, so this is a pretty smooth run of how I do Zayrog Infinity. Indra is very important for this dungeon. Um, you may be able to bring a Susano. Uh, Susano also reduces damage for multiple turns if you don't have an Indra or a Susano, 
Maybe the uh, the golems actually work out okay on this one. If you have a max skilled go golem, but well, that's that's kind of that's kind of rough. If you I mean if you have a a hard time getting that six combo, especially if you have one less second to match orbs. But we have this little guy here, Zayrog. Well, I guess he's not little, but Zayrog Infinity. And because of our event here, thanks, Tin. We have a skill chance of 2.5. Am I able to max skill the Zayrog Infinity? Ah, I. Usually when I get to this point and I only need one skill up, then then I feed them one at a time and hope for like a <laughs> like a skill up. Uh, will we do it here? Please. Yes. Whoa! It worked. Ah, oh, yeah. So we have two max out. Wow, this is this is really cool. We have two max out Zayrog and Fairies. This is the the uh, guy with the six plus eggs, and this is the guy with the five plus eggs. Two max skilled Zayrogs. So that also means we're gonna do an, <laughs> an Awoken Anubis run as soon as we can. I probably won't roll with a uh, two dog Izanami unless it's a very difficult dungeon, but it'll probably be more of like a time extend uh, dark friend lead or dark, dark subs. Awoken Tsukuyomi is really nice because we have three time extends and this is a new one in North America She's considered a really great card to play as a leader and I haven't messed with her yet I just barely evolved her like an hour ago, so I'll have to uh, keep messing with that, but Wow, Zayrog Infinity is complete. I don't have to farm this dungeon anymore for the rest of my life Hopefully unless Zayrog Infinity is like a, an evolved material for like Zayrog Zayrog universe or something like that, you know, but this is the new team that I'm going to play with. It's awesome. The cost is ridiculously high because Zayrog Infinity's 99 cost each, but I'm uh, luckily I'm a high enough level or high enough rank for this. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me playing some Puzzle and Dragons. This dungeon has been awesome because it went so smoothly. Uh, I showed you one mistake that we made and you know that's why I bring Indra, but we were able to max skill my second Zayrog! Oh, so good. So, um, this is a really awesome team to play with. I know it's it's hard to build a team like this, but I mean, if you can, it's it's pretty smooth for Zayrog Infinity. If not, I hear Bastet is also a really good team to roll in this dungeon. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Until next time, hope I can see you later. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.